Welcome back, everyone. This is Liz Faircloth. And I am Indra Sagidali. In today's minisode, we're talking about how to build confidence as a women investor. Liz, the next 10 years, women will be holding over $30 trillion of investable Ooh. assets. Ooh. But there is a gap. There is a confidence gap happening. A small percentage of women feel confident about making financial decisions, despite a study made for by Fidelity Investment in 2021 that shows that women investments perform higher than their counter male partners, right? So we have a confidence gap happening. So we are on a mission to bridge that confidence gap that exists. So how yes. do we do this? Where do we get it? Are they selling on Amazon? Do they have free shipping? And women get, get confidence across the board in different ways, but there is a commonality and that's where we're going to focus on. What are the three things that it's common? That is, doesn't matter your personality, your IQ, your EQ or anything. It's all about the knowledge, the community, and the practical experience, the combination of those three things. So let's dissect those three things, right? So the knowledge. Here's the number one mistake a lot of people are making right now as real estate investors. They believe that listening to podcasts, reading books, attending webinars, conferences about real estate only will give them confidence. And they are disappointed. They're like, I read all of that. I went there. I did it. I networked the hell out of it. And I still don't feel confident about it. So the key here is that you expand your knowledge because ultimately you're building a business and what's going to differentiate you from all the other thousand investors out there is what else you are reading about. Are you reading about how to build a business, how to implement systems and process? Are you getting knowledge about marketing, how you're communicating? Are you understanding your sales process, how to build a team, how to grow as a leader, and most important, your mindset? So do you see it's a lot to learn there, but that is what makes a investor a very solid one and not shadow. That is the key here. I'll give you a clear example of what I'm referring to. I read a book called Unreasonable Hospitality by Will Gidara, and I got an opportunity to see him in New York on a speaking uh, engagement, and he was really amazing. And they talk about a restaurant, and you're like, what does he have to do with real estate? He has everything to do. It's all about the people and how you show up. It's all about it for all of you that are in short-term rental. This is a must book that will make your property different than, than others. So I am always curious to see how other leaders from other industries can influence the real estate. So I encourage you to, to try, try it out. All right, number two here, leverage the community support. Liz, do you remember when you were a kid? You know, we were climbing things, couches, and, and you know, the, the playground, and our moms were like behind us, right? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you climb it because you knew that if something happened, you had a safety net behind you. Same thing, ladies, same thing. The real estate invests her community. This community is your safety net. Go forward. If you make a, a mistake, doesn't really matter. We are here to back you up. So you are making confident decisions based on a collective experience, not just on your own. So please take advantage of this community that was built for you by exactly. us, but for women, by women, with women's needs and goals in mind. So rely on a community that will give you a lot of confidence. You might not know, you might not have the experience, but you have the community that can back you up. 
If you come across something that you don't know, share within the community. I doubt over the thousands and thousands of women that are there, that we're not going to have an answer for you. The other thing that community really gives you, obviously the, the confidence, but the reason why it also gives you the confidence is that they've been there and done that, right? So you have a woman who's invested in uh, a business that she's bought a franchise, um, something that Andres and I both want to do, right? We're going to do, we will do. I've never bought a separate business. I've only built them or started them, right? I know women who have though. So I'm going to go to them. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to do some fact finding. I'm going to, I'm not going to just go in like, Hey, what should I think about? I'm not going to do that because that's a waste of their time. I'm going to do some due diligence, but the, the key is it's a shortcut to getting to where I want to go. And that's what community also gives you. That's why it's a confidence builder because you don't have to make the same mistakes as though you're literally starting from scratch. And so think of it that not shortcut in a bad way, but shortcut in a good way to make it efficient and focused. All right, let's go to the third one. It's practical experience, right? You can learn, you can go to conferences, you can get ready to get ready, and then you, you're a master in getting the information, but you take zero action. Analysis paralysis, I think is the term. Right, and, and I think that people don't understand when you don't take action, you lose confidence in yourself because you are not trusting yourself. Because you quit on yourself. You said you were going to do it. You didn't do it. So then your confidence goes down the hill. So one, one quick tip is that our brain does not know. The, the dopamine is the same. When we accomplish a, a deal or it doesn't really know. I think I have the same dopamine when I close on my first single family, $175,000, when I close much bigger deals. Did my brain thought, oh, let me give you $175,000. Let me give you this level of dopamine. Oh, it's a million dollars. <laughs> let me give you this level of dopamine. What I'm trying to say here is that it doesn't matter your wins. You don't need to accomplish a goal in order to get that dopamine. Your brain will give you that dopamine when you back up your next step, where you set the intention, you take the action, and you get that dopamine because you create, you're creating a momentum there. And that mm -hmm. momentum creates confidence. You're like, yeah, I made that small step. I made that call to the lender. Yeah, I went ahead and I call that for sale by owner. And whatever the situation is, I call it. That is the goal to, for you to take the action. How they're going to respond, the result of it, don't attach your feelings on the exterior. It's your action that you are backing yourself up on this. So please make sure you're going to gain experience by making mistakes, by taking action and moving the needle forward. There's no other way. And, and you can, you can learn on your own, or as Liz said, you can leverage this entire community in order to gain the experience much quicker. So take advantage. I love that. And, and it also brings me to thinking about the power of accountability, because when you, when you put that out there, right, and I say, I'm going to do X, I'm going to do Y, just like I did, you know, in another mini sode it creates an accountability. It creates this like support network. That's all kind of rooting for you cheering for you, standing with you, and you're not alone. We, we always like to say you're never alone. And so that's really important to lean into as part of it, not, not canceling on yourself, but also what is it when you are doing it and being accountable to yourself and everyone's there with you, cheering with you and for you. That's a, that's a motivator. That's a big deal. And that's what this community is all about, right, Andressa? Absolutely. Thank you so much for listening. As always, take one action, one step towards your goals based on what you heard in today's episode. Thank you so much.